a fairly chunky LED flashlight, torch, searchlight, whatever you want to call it. And this was sent by Robert, who said, uh, Torch is duff. Bought a load in bulk to resell, but naff and have given almost all away to folk as freebies. So basically, it's one of those things that you buy loads of things at a good price, thinking, you know, this could be a good product, and then you end up giving them away to friends. I often buy things and then just, if I like them, and just give them away to friends. It's just one of those things. So this thing has, uh, well, I'll turn it on. A very sharp point of light in there. Looks like a, looks like a standard one watt emitter. Could be three watt emitter, but it's that package. And when I shine it at the, well, I'll shine it at the table. I shall shine at the table a very small dot of light. The beam angle of, and this is very narrow, for instance, if it's roughly a 1 in 10, so if you're 10 feet away, it'll be 1 foot diameter beam. If you're 10 meters away, it'll be a 1 meter diameter beam. It's very narrow indeed. Um, let's take it to bits and analyze it and see uh, why it's duff. So, provisionally, I thought this might just unscrew along this seam here, but it doesn't appear to do that. There is a screw here. Let me just grab a screwdriver. To fit that. So I'll take the screw out and hopefully it'll just hinge off now. Maybe it's held in by I don't see any more screws, unless you have to take other stuff apart first, or if it's glued. Oh it's rotating, it's rotating, it's it's bayonet it capped. And there's a connector. Off comes the connector. What's inside? We've got a circuit board here. Doesn't seem to be much on it. And what looks in the back a bit like a sealed lead acid battery. Okay, let's take it a bit further. I can see a couple of clips here. And screws here. Loads of text on the side. What's the text say? EU China design patent. Uh, yeah, right. Not convinced there's a patent in this. Maybe the patent is in the crappiness. These screws all appear to be the same. Is that going to come out? Hold on, I shall push this little catch down. That is not coming out. That one has already popped out. Is it held together by the handle? Yes, it is held together by the handle. So, some more screws to the handle. The sealed lead acid batteries are very common in these products. I'm guessing maybe they felt the pinch from the lithium manufacturers, so they made this sort of like the sealed lead acid a lot cheaper. They, they're Fairly valid as battery technology, but they often abuse them. Ooh, this has got a spring in it. This has got a spring in it. Ooh, it's feeling very, very springy. Oop. Okay. Right, I'll put that to the side. Is this going to come apart now? Yes, it is. What have we got? What have we got? What have we got? There's our battery. So how many cells is this? Let's uh, pop the cover here, if we can. And that might give a clue. Usually they've got little filling ports. Is this glued? It's not glued. Two little ports. This is a two cell battery, so it's roughly rated about four volts, which kind of fits for an LED. And also for charging it from a uh, USB. So let me just uh, work this out. A 12 volt battery, which has six cells, uh, charges up to about 13.8 volts, roughly. Do we just round it up, say 14 volts? Uh, divided by the six cells equals roughly 2.3 volts a cell. In this case, times two equals 4.6. So if there's a diode, I don't know if I'm going directly to this, if there's a diode, that's fairly close to charging this properly and not overcharging it. That depends on what's in the circuit board here. Let us whip the circuit board out. Are these screws going to be the same length as well? They are. It's one standard screw used throughout. That's nice. Oh, 
Or is this just going to be a diode? And a resistor, maybe? Oh, there's a no diode. There's a resistor. Uh, another resistor. What's that for? That's for the little LED here. Is this resistor for the... Right, tell you what. I'm just going to reverse engineer this. One moment, please. Reverse engineering done. It does turn out that there was a sneaky little diode hiding in here. Which, let's see if I can find it. Uh, it's in here, just sneaking in between the charging connector and the uh, the switch here. So that little uh, diode, uh, I suppose it protects against reverse current flow when it's not charging. It also takes the 5 volts here and drops it by roughly half a volt, which means it's well within the range of this sealed lead acid battery, which is just as well, because it goes straight through the diode to the sealed lead acid battery. There's also a 1K resistor and a red LED to show when it's charging. That's in that side of the diode, so that once you disconnect the charger, this LED will go out. It's just a little gimmick. It's like, I am charging. There is the power switch that goes through a 2 ohm, 2 watt resistor, which is quite generous. Uh, based on the current I, I tested it at, and I'll show you the current I tested it at, uh, it's only going to be dissipating a half a watt anyway, because it's only dropping about 1 volt uh, most of the time. There is the power LED. The mounting of the power LED is particularly worthy of note. It's actually quite nice. And then this switch here is in the charge socket. So when you plug it into charge, it actually disconnects the LED so it doesn't try running it at the full 4.5 volts all the time. It must just be so you can't leave the LED lit all the time. Uh, and that is the circuitry. Not really much to it. Okay, let's get that out of the way. Let's brighten the image up a little bit, like that. Bring this in and do some tests. So I shall grab my meter. And we shall test the voltage across the battery. Because I've charged the battery up to the hilt. Let's focus down onto there. That's a good height. So the voltage across the battery is roughly... It's relaxed a bit now. So about, uh, measure, 4.4 volts. Okay, let's light the LED while the clamp meter's in position. Grabs clamp meter. So I shall untwist this battery. I shall strategically put the clamp meter here, uh, turn it to DC current, Oh, you're going to see that. Yeah. Uh, zero out. Zero out again. Oh, it's all over the place at the moment, right? Tell you what. That's one of the perils of the little uh, the DC clamp meters. They use a Hall effect sensor so they can be f the slightest movement and it will actually skew them. But if I turn this on now. Oh, that's on AC. That'll be why. Bleh. Right. One moment, please. And proper test, about 300 milliamps. Not that much. Um, so well within the range of the LED. And it will go, as the battery discharges, it will go down lower and lower. It's a very simple circuit. It's a tiny battery. Huge big case. They could have fitted so much in there. Let me bring in this, because this is quite neat. If I grab my screwdriver and take this off, I expected the LED to be mounted directly in the back of this. But it's not. I mean, yes, it is, but it's also not. So I shall unscrew these two, three screws even. And uh, the first thing it reveals is a little aluminium heat sink plate with recesses that go onto these pins and squish down onto this, which is a standard Superflux. Well, Superflux is a Luxian Star style LED, and it looks the standard dimension. So ultimately, you could just pop in your own LED here. That's quite nice. And it just sits up that little bit proud. I can feel it with my fingers here. That when this goes in and clamps down, it is just sitting against that. A little dab of heatsink compound would have been nice. But having said that, it's only running about one watt. So it's not that significant. So there we have it. Uh, it's not that bad, but it's got a very low capacity sealed lead acid battery in it. It would have been nicer to stuff that with loads of... Oh, you know what? It's designed 
This is designed to take uh, an 18650, but you know, I kind of want more than one 18650 in there. Oh, look at that. Seriously, like, let me just zoom out here. It's got a little housing here, and you can see this around hole here that it is designed to take an 18650 in there. Uh, but look at all this space. It's just like, you know, it's a big, huge box with a tiny battery in it, which is always disappointing with these. I kind of, you know, for something like this, you want it filled up to the brim. So the answer there then is to take this screw out and that screw out. They just put one of each diag diagonal corner here uh, and stuff it with 18650s in parallel uh, and perhaps a TP4056 charge module and just hack it and just tap on here and uh, and modify it to your own requirements. But uh, as supplied, it's it's just a bit cheap. As uh, as Robert said, it was a uh, pretty naff as supplied. It's just basically doing its function. It will light up and it is rechargeable. But other than that, you know, it's a nice design. The reflector is very accurate. The uh, LED mounting is nice. The only thing it really lets it down is the battery capacity here. They could have gone, gone so much bigger, but they didn't. Uh, so there we have it. Interesting little light. Well worth taking apart.